Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about fourth problem from bills of exchange topic. I am making this video for degree students. I am taking this question from Kalyani Publications. Authors, Jain and Narang. Previous videos links are available in the description box. Let us see the question first. Mohan owes a sham 4000 rupees. On 1st January 2019, Mohan accepts a 3 months bill for 3900 rupees in full satisfaction of the claim. On the same date, it was endorsed by Sham to Gnan in satisfaction of his claim for 3980 rupees. The bill was dishonored on the due date. Give journal entries in the books of Sham. This is the question. Let us see the solution for this. Main points of the problem I wrote on the board. Mohan has to pay 4,000 rupees to Sham. So Sham is a creditor, Mohan is a debtor. So Mohan is due to Sham for 4,000 rupees. In full settlement of this due amount, on 1st January 2019, Sham prepared a bill for 3,900 rupees. So this bill is prepared for three months period. And he received acceptance on this bill from Mohan. So after three months, Mohan has to pay 3,900 rupees to Shah in full settlement of 4,000 rupees. So instead of paying 4,000, Mohan is going to pay 3,900 rupees to Shah. Means what? Shah is allowing a discount of 100 rupees now. So to Shah, this discount is loss. And what is the due date of this bill? Sham prepared this bill on 1st January 2019. Term of the bill is 3 months. So from 1st January 2019 to 1st February 2019, 1 month. So 1st March 2019, 2 months. 1st April 2019, 3 months. So month is falling in April. Date. Don't count this first date. From next date, three days here to count now. Second, third, fourth. So due date of this bill is 4th April 2019. On that day, Mohan has to pay 3,900 rupees to Shah. Sham is preparing bill on Mohan now. So for this bill, Sham is considered as a drawer. And Mohan is known as drawee. A person who prepares the bill is known as drawer. On whom that bill is prepared, that person is known as drawee. Okay. Next. To Gnan, Sham is liable for 3,980 rupees. Here, Sham is a debtor, Gnan is a creditor. And after receiving the acceptance from Mohan, Sham endorsed this bill to his creditor Gnan for full settlement of this amount. So bill amount is 3,900 and Sham is liable to Gnan for 3,980. Instead of paying 3,980 for full settlement, he is endorsing 3,900 worth of bill to Gnan. Means here this 80 rupee is discount received to Shah. So this 80 rupee is profit to Shah. So for full settlement, Sham is transferring this bill to Gnan. No, this is known as endorsement. Here, Sham is considered as endorser and Gnan is known as endorsee. On the due date, what happened? Now bill is with Gnan. So Gnan went to Mohan and Mohan dishonored the bill. He failed to pay the amount. Then who becomes next responsible person? Sham. Because he only enters this bill to Gnan. So Gnan goes to Sham. Now think from Sham's point of view. To Gnan, he has to pay the amount. And from whom he should color that amount? From Mohan. So this is the problem. For this problem, in the books of Sham, he is asking journal entries. Sham is dry now. So journal of Sham. In brackets, drawer. As we are writing the journal of Sham, we have to analyze all the transactions from Sham's point of view. First, what happened? On 1st January 2019, Sham received acceptance on a bill from Mohan. For this receiving acceptance, we should write the first entry. 
in Shams books on 1st January 2019. To Sham, Mohan is a debtor now. So once which entry he wrote in his books, Mohan is a debtor to Sham. Debtor means asset. Asset shows a debit balance. Therefore, once Mohan account was debited in Sham's books. Mohan account debtor amount 4000 rupees. Already Sham wrote this entry. Now, when Sham prepares a bill on Mohan, this debtor asset will get converted into bills receivable asset. So, bills receivable is an asset, no? Asset shows a debit balance. Therefore, bills receivable account we should debit. Bills receivable account debtor. Bill amount is 3900. So, bill will be debited with 3900 rupees. And in full settlement of 4000, Sham prepared this bill, no? Now, Mohan is not a debtor. So, this debtor account we should cancel. By debiting, we create a debtor account. If you want to cancel, you should credit. So, we should credit Mohan account with 4000 rupees. Difference is 100 rupees. That 100 we should debit. And this 100 is what? Discord, no? Think from Sham's point of view. So, instead of receiving 4,000 rupees, he is going to receive 3,900. So, Sham allowed a discount of 100 rupees. To Sham, this discount is loss. So, losses come under nominal account. Nominal account rule, debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. As discount is a loss, we should debit that. Discount account data. So, this is the entry for receiving acceptance. On 1st January 2019, bills receivable account debtor 3,900, discount account debtor 100 rupees to Mohan's account 4,000 rupees. Narration, acceptance received. Next, what happened? Sham is endorsing this bill to his creditor, Gnan. So, to Sham, Gnan is a creditor. Creditor means liability. Liability shows a credit balance. Therefore, once Sham credited Gnan account with 3,980 rupees. In Sham's books, he credited Gnan account with 3,980 rupees once. Now, in full settlement of this loan, Sham is endorsing this bill to him. Now, Gnan is not a creditor. So, this is a creditor account we should cancel. By crediting, we created this creditor account. If you want to cancel, you have to debit. Endorsement date is same date. Acceptance date. Gnan account data. Liability amount 3980 rupees. And as a full settlement, Sham is endorsing 3900 worth of bill to him. Once you see this first entry, bills receivable is debited with 3900. Because with Sham, there is one asset, bills receivable. Now, he is endorsing that bill to Gnan. So, with the Sham, there is no asset. So, bills receivable asset is cancelled. So, by debiting, we created that asset. If you want to cancel, you have to credit now. Therefore, credit bills receivables account with the same amount, 3,900 rupees. Next, difference. 80 rupees you have to credit. Instead of paying 3980 rupees, Sham is endorsing 3900 worth bill to him. Means 80 rupees profit to Sham, discount received. So, discount received is a nominal account. Nominal account rule debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. This 80 rupees gain to Sham, therefore we should credit to discount account. So, this is the entry for endorsement. On 1st January 2019, Gnan account debtor 3980 rupees, two bills receivable account 3900, two discount account 80 rupees. Narration bill endorsed. Come to due date of the bill 4th April 2019. On that day, Gnan went to Mohan. He presented the bill. And Mohan failed to honor the bill. Then who becomes second responsible person? 
sham so gnan demands 3980 rupees from sham while gyan is giving discount of 80 rupees to sham because he is thinking that 3900 will come in future so if that amount is not going to come he doesn't give any discount to him now so again to sham gnan becomes a creditor for 3980 rupees so creditor means liability liability we should credit so in sham's books we should credit gnan account with previous amount 3980 rupees sham has to collect that money from mohan now so to sham again mohan becomes a debtor for how much amount for total amount 4000 rupees sham is giving 100 rupees discount to mohan why because sham is thinking that mohan is going to pay the amount in future when mohan doesn't pay the amount then he doesn't give any discount to him now so mohan becomes a debtor for total amount 4000 rupees debtor means asset asset we should debit therefore mohan account we should debit with 4000 rupees now come to discounts in first entry we debited discount 100 rupees now so discount allowed last to sham but when mohan is not going to pay the amount he doesn't allow any discount now means this loss we should cancel now by debiting we created this discount loss if you want to cancel you have to credit so credit discount account with 100 rupees similarly in second entry come to this discount so why sham is receiving this 80 rupees discount from gnan because gnan is thinking that sham is going to pay the amount on due date but now sham failed to pay the amount so gnan is not going to give any discount to sham so in second entry sham wrote that 80 rupees discount is profit to me but now sham is not going to receive this profit means we should cancel by crediting we created this discount profit if you want to cancel you should debit so debit discount account with a 80 rupees so verify the totals also debit total is 4080 credit total is also 4080 so this is the entry for dishonor of this bill 4th april 2019 mohan second debtor 4000 rupees discount account debtor 80 rupees to gnan account 3980 rupees to discount account 100 rupees narration bill dishonored on the due date so this is the end of present video hope this video is helpful to you thank you